La 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 la. La 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 la. La 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 la. Right now I'm here at my first official meal here in Burma, right? It's called a hot pot. So it's a traditional Chinese dish, but I was like, since I'm here and this is what my Airbnb host recommended, I said, let me try it. Come to find out this place is called Little Little Sheep and it's a franchise. So I'm kind of salty because I'm like, I wanted something more authentic, but I was hungry, I was starving and this is pretty good. I have never had this spice. <sighs> this spice has washed all my sins away. I have no more sins. <sighs> I'm out here at the world famous Schwegadon Pagoda. I feel so at peace out here. There are like 3.5 million Buddha statues. You gotta walk around barefoot. And if you can see, I have on a, a little wrap skirt under here. It just feels great here. <laughs> right here I'm in the middle of the Bone Joke All Song Market out here in Yangon. And it's really not that bad actually. I mean it's a few people here trying to sell you food and a few pieces of clothes and things like that. But I've been in much worse markets than this. This is really tame. I'm actually kind of like shocked because Nobody's really hounding me. Yeah, it's a really cool place to come. I mean, if you're in the markets, this is definitely where you want to come to. They have everything from paintings to a lot of jewelry, like a lot of jade and emeralds, and all the clothes you could ever want. Wait, what is this? Flan. What is this? Flan. Flan? Flan? Is it dessert? Oh, that's too much. Hold on. So chili. <laughs> like it wants to be good, but it's not. All right, it wants to be good. Mmm. Okay. It almost wants to be good. That's what I say. It's not the worst thing I've ever had in my life. <laughs> we are up for a little adventure today. I am doing a sidecar. I didn't want to do a taxi. Taxi, yeah. I really, <laughs> I really wanted to make this a, um, a very of the people. This is how we do it at Old Yeah, yeah, I know. This is this is exactly how we do it, oh yeah, God. Yeah, I'll say this: it's a little yeah, cold. Yeah, yeah. It's a little cold right now, bro. Oh, I took a whole night bus oh, from oh, Yangon, oh, oh. which is which is like took like ten hours. Oh. I really just want to have like a real yeah, yeah. local experience, so yeah, I'm cool. staying at a hostel, yeah, yeah. and I'm on this sidecar with yeah. with Kokomon, and it's freezing it's this morning. morning. It sound like, no, no, <laughs> but no. we about to check the sunrise because that's like, the main reason you yeah, come out yeah. here to Old Bagan. Uh, yes, every foreigner has to pay back an entry fee. Oh. <laughs> yeah, the one bus in US dollar is ninety one nine. One nine. Yeah. Ninety dollars. Yes, one nine. 19? One, 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 nine. I don't have dollars. Okay, I don't have US dollars. Yeah. Woo! They get you. They get you. When you come out here to Old Bagan, you have to pay a 19 dollar U, a 19 US dollar fee to get into the area because that's just customary. So I understand. So it's 25,000 kyat. Y'all gotta tell me what y'all eating on. What's this thing y'all? I wanna try that. Wait, this is... We doing bitter nuts right mm. now. You eat, you eat. I'ma try it. You gotta tell the people what this is. 
Yeah. Oh, so I'm supposed to eat yeah. this. You can this try. A, it's like a bitter nap? Bitter nap. Yeah. Mm. Oh, this is horrible. I've got it too. And then the same, the same, it's Ooh. you yeah. know, PK? PK. Ooh. Yeah. This is trash. I'll try, I'll try, I'll try. Why don't you do this? <laughs> Why don't I eat this? <laughs> What's this about? <laughs> that was trash. I don't know what y'all doing. Okay, let's get this twenty-five thousand. Smile. Look at y'all eat. Y'all. Why y'all eat? Why y'all eat that? Lord, please be an orthodontist and a and a dentist out here. Coco Mine got me wow. out here drinking wow. sunrise tea with the crew. Come on, come on. Yeah. Okay. So I made it up to a mountaintop here. I can't even call this a mountain. The only problem is they don't let you, they don't let you fly a drone out here. This is like a totally no fly zone. So unfortunately I can't get any drone shots. I got to figure out how to make that happen because I really want to get, it would be amazing to get this for the sunrise with a drone. So hopefully I can figure out who I need to talk to a ambassador or a governor or something like that. I learned a very important lesson this morning. So the hot air balloons are only out here for probably like 30, 40 minutes. Like it's just really a quick sunrise specific opportunity. I know that I have to get out here really early. I have to pick my spot. I know I'm gonna pick one of these temples right here. And I'm gonna get this shot tomorrow. I'm not even, not even worried. But today was just a really good lesson in you know how to prepare and where to be and just a location scout. That's all I did. I location scouted today. But tomorrow, the shot is coming. Don't even worry about it. I made two new friends <laughs> at the hostel I'm staying at. Shane yep. uh, and Zach got got. I just got gooped. I just got my face painted. Didn't even ask for it. So this is what we do out here in Old Bagan. You have to find your temple and then you just climb up any random temple. So we just caught our first sunset out here and it was amazing. I can honestly tell you that Bagan is the place for like a very calm adventure. It's not like crazy, like you're hanging from things, but it's still adventure, but it's more of a calm and 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 just peaceful type of adventure. So something where you could just rent a scooter and just ride around and just discover your own temples, discover your own peace, discover your own part of old Bagan. Y'all, I don't think I've ever been more satisfied with some drone footage in my life. You did good. We've been up since five in the morning, and we said we're gonna get this sunrise. Oh, that's my alarm. <laughs> we said we're gonna get this sunrise, and we got it, and it was we better than we could ever imagine, y'all. I definitely you, think, thank you to Georgie. Thank you to this man. Thank you, Georgie. You, you came through for us. So this actually solidified Old Bagan as a place you should definitely come. It was totally worth it. You'll freeze your balls off, but other than that, yeah. Get out here. What's up, y'all? I'm still here in Myanmar, and as you can see, it's a ton of really long boats in some very murky water. Please remind me to bring a bubble coat next time I decide to go on a lake in the January in the morning. They be posing? So as you can see, <laughs> they be out here posing. <laughs> this is a whole photo shoot out here. <laughs> Y'all better hit them poses. Of course they want money. Of course. You gotta hit that pose again though. They come up on you for the money. Came back to the waffle guy and then he just offered me chicken. So I'm doing me and Mar chicken and waffles. It's almost better than Atlanta. What up? 
what are we doing? So it's about 4 a.m. in Mandalay. Yeah. And I decided to be cheap. Okay. So in order to, <laughs> to save maybe like 43 cents, yeah. I decided to do a scooter with three bags. But yeah, I don't have much time here in Mandalay. I have maybe, um, it's 4 a.m. My flight leaves at noon to head over to CM Reap. And so I'm gonna be in Mandalay for maybe six hours. So this is another early morning uh, extravaganza that I'm doing out here in Myanmar. They love an early morning situation. Like a sunrise here is the thing. I'm at the UBN Bridge. Uh, it's supposed to be the longest wooden bridge in existence. I don't know. I really need to do my research before I start talking in these videos. It's very sturdy. Very, uh, very woody. <laughs> a very woody bridge. Honestly say as a creative photographer Somebody who likes to videotape whatever it is. This is really a great place for you to come I think Myanmar really showed itself when it comes to like the backdrops for just beautiful photos and pictures and things like that. So um, I'm in the nature photography now. Let's talk about it Not mad at Myanmar definitely check it out. I think I did four days here total and that's a good time. Maybe maybe do a week. I was doing the most. I was taking night buses every night, rushing through. But I would definitely say maybe give it like give it like give it like a good little five, six days. Five, give it a week. Give it a week. Don't be mad. Thank you later.